Hey y'all, it's Anime K-Man. Today I'm going to be live reacting to Hachigatsu no Cinderella 9, episode 5. In 1, 0, go. Whoa. Why does it have a dark vibe going on with the whole no one showing up? Maybe Shibasa's just being a bit paranoid. <laughs> Alright, good stuff. Love it, them earning again. Their whole training thing, a spot where they can practice at. Yes! Finally! A real game! Okay, I'm pumped up. Alright. The reason why I'm up the timer is, well, for the reason that the, let's say around 9 or 10 days ago, I received one of my anime reactions received a copyright strike from, from the company Anime Suisa, not Suisha. For my Idea Sun episode 4 live reaction bid. And currently, I'm. Last few weeks, I'm weighing in like whether I should dispute it, whether I should not dispute it. Because in my video, I didn't use any footage or sound from the episode I was live reacting to. So the company gave me a copyright strike unjustified, like for unjustified reasons, but. I'm just wondering if I should pursue it because I heard that if you do dispute a strike, there is a small chance that a company will s try to like s resolve it through the court system. And I'm just wondering if it, you on the low chance it does occur, I'm wondering if I should um, lawyer up. Although it's expensive, so I'm, I'm thinking whether I should just like let it expire because. And some of my, in my area, some of the cheap floors are $50, $50 per hour, so that's why I'm weighing my options. And the episode's about to start, whether I should let it expire or not. And yeah, yeah that's why I have no timer, just lack of time. Due to that. Now the episode started. Cool. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Hopefully it's a legitimate school. <laughs> ah, Subasa. It'd be just like her though. To do something like that. Well, they technically only got two good players, so they would probably get their asses beat. Plus, I could see how much they needed to improve by seeing another team. At least seeing how another team operates. So that's nice. Good. Plus, now Zaki needs to get rid of her nervousness, too. Same with Ukitaka. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Good, good. Okay. Hmm. Good. Good. <laughs> oh. I thought it was going to be an Aozaki that'd be the pitcher, but all right. Shinomi would be fitting considering that she has a lot of baseball experience, so she would probably be less likely to have hitches in her throwing motion, so I could see why they would pick her. And now Zaki, with her being on the first base, would 
be pretty fitting too. Just the reason that that type of position doesn't have as much pressure as if you were like in the fourth base or something like that. So I could see the logic behind some of these decisions. All right, we're getting the stare down. It's a budget saving measure, I'm sure, but fuck it. In this situation, it's pretty fitting. Hmm. <laughs> it's practice, though. I'm pr what the? Oh. <laughs> Do it for the love of baseball, Sabasa. Hmm. <laughs> One of them looks like from an Amazonas, and the one looks like a fucking knight, and the another one looks like you know, like a swimsuit model. <laughs> Okay, that looks good. Although it kind of looks like a, um, like a, what's it called? Like one of those magical girl outfits, no joke. Nothing wrong with that. I do like magical girl anime series, so no complaints for me there. Okay, now that is shifty and smart. Although two weeks doesn't seem like it'd be enough time to scout, though. Hmm. Uh, I think I know what Shinomi's thinking. She's thinking if they lose that badly, the morale between all of them could be completely destroyed. Because the only ones that would be able to take a morale hit would be Shinonome and Tsubasa. And that's it. What was that TMS Studios with the anime? Uh, maybe they're saving it for the actual match, so. As long as they don't fuck up the actual baseball, I'm fine. Oh, what a sweet mother. <laughs> Good. Oh, those are, those are cute. I like them. She didn't know the face of what the fuck is this shit. <laughs> it's adorable. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, she looks like a badass here. Oh. Okay, I'm pumped up. Let's hope we actually see some Sakuga from TMS Studio on this show, because they do a great job on fruit baskets. Let's hope they do at the very least step up their game this episode. Okay. Good. Just got the touch! The ball! My goodness. Good.
Okay. No, 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 come on, there's different chick. Yes! Okay, let's hope she ma- Let's hope she makes it. <laughs> ah! Oh! Oh. All right, they're ace. They're ace hitter. Oh boy. All right. Oh. <sighs> okay, they are going all in. Oh. Come on, shoot an omega. Come on. Okay, shit, 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 shit. All right, they did it. All right. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I have a feeling Psycho is gonna hit the ball. Oh, I was. Hmm. All right. Oh. Shame she couldn't hit that. Why do I get the feeling they're gonna start figuring out Shinonome? <laughs> Smile! Oh. <sighs> what is she doing? Then again, she hasn't been in high leverage moments yet when it comes to the baseball game, so I can't blame her. Whew. <sighs> okay. Oh shit, now it's tied. Okay.
Good. No! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's the reality of the sports if you're not careful. Yep, I thought that would happen. Considering that Shinonome is just barely pitching, she hasn't had enough years of it. At least enough weeks or months of experience to. To get rid of her hitches. Hmm. And this time, Sabasa's got no words of encouragement or... No! Oh, 11 point deficit! Huh. Whew. I honestly can't blame him for being late after that kind of spanking they received. The only thing they can do is just mentally walk it off. It's really the only course of action for them. Hmm. I don't think it's anyone's fault. I mean, that may be true, but here's the thing in sports, though. You're going to face the times when you get blown the fuck out. Even the best teams get blown the fuck out in sports. It just happens. Oh, So adorable. And that, like, that substantial amount of character element for Shino... Shino... No me either. Um, I love it because last week the Shinonome from pre the previous week's episode wouldn't have done that. She wouldn't have done that kind of thing. Now she's doing that kind of thing where she's encouraging and motivating someone instead of screaming at them. And I like that. It shows you some character progression. All right, a lovable crew. <laughs> Good. And hopefully they can get that Sage your ass in the future. Hmm. <laughs> ha. Ha ha ha. Mmm, all right. <laughs> she did get scared about the barely she tried her best. Good, I let the barely she acknowledged her own weakness too.
You know, that is some fucking good luck if that's the first time she's lost in competition. Shit. Kind of a bit of derpy faces with Shinonomi's face there and Tsubasa's face, but... Like the dialogue we've seen nonetheless. I like the Lensler effect there. On Tomomachi's arm. Hmm. Good shit. <laughs> May have been embarrassing for them, but hell. It made them stronger. It made their bonds more stronger and authentic, because... Not only are they having fun times with each other, they're also having sad moments. <laughs> yeah! Alright! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Oh, it's over! I mean, I gotta say, that was a good episode. You gotta give it credit. Because we made plot progression. At the very least, they got through their first practice match with, match with Seijo on the span of a single episode. So the episode didn't feel like it dragged on. So we made substantial plot progression. And they suffered their first loss from a story standpoint. So, at the very least, going into this show, the Sata Satogomi School, I have trouble pronouncing some of these names sometimes. At the very least, their baseball club is not going to get just wins, wins, wins right off the bat. They're going to have to hustle. They're going to have to use their brains and research in order to get some wins. And I like that because this loss here only is going to make it have much more weight if in the future they inevitably ever win a baseball match. Because, well, I don't... Because I haven't checked out the source material for this, so I don't know if they're going to win or lose. But I'm assuming when they do hit their first victory, it's going to feel much more earned. So that's why I like the blowout loss this episode by 11. Thought it, I thought it from an artist standpoint, it was nice to just get that out of the way and see how they deal with this kind of adversity. And I also like this episode from a character standpoint, too. Because you see Shinonomi come up with some character development. She's a bit more humble now when she acknowledges... Oh, I guess there's no after credit scenes. When she acknowledges her own mistake. So I like that. It makes her feel like a much more natural character. And then when she encouraged Ukitaka, that was also a sweet and adorable sequence right there. And then you even have Tsubasa kind of mention some of her weaknesses too. And when everyone else mentioned their own weaknesses too. I like that. It shows... At least the very least snippets of small bit of character development for each of them with Shinonome being the main hi highlight when it comes to character growth this specific episode. So that's why I thought from a character standpoint, I thought I did pretty well. And I'd say the only weaknesses in this episode are pretty much just from an animation standpoint. I would think, even though yes, while this isn't the first official baseball match, I mean, I, was, I would assume five episodes in, the animators would have been balls to, they would have gone balls to the wall with the animation quality. Sprurge on the animation quality at the very least when it came to some of these baseball practice sequences. Because there was a bit too many still shots for my liking. Some of the scenes where Shinonomi was pitching looked nice. But I kind of want more from that considering that the point of this sport is not only the bonding element, I mean, elements between the girls, but also the baseball element. That's literally something TNS cannot afford to fuck up. 
Now, I'm I'm assuming that they're probably... I mean, actually, it's not assuming. It's a fact. I also watched Fruit Baskets this season, too, and Fruit Baskets looks way better. So, while, yes, Fruit Baskets has higher resources, I mean, it, they kind of at the very least make the baseball sequences look good this show. So, that was the only weakness in this episode that I can find, and it kind of happened my enjoyment quite a bit. Hopefully they can raise the bar in the future episodes when it's an official baseball match. Because if the base and if the animation in an official baseball match looks bad, that that doesn't bode well for this show. But I'd say so far though, at the very least, it wasn't a complete train wreck. It was just a bit underwhelming for just going by the content in this episode. The other episodes that were kind of acceptable because it wasn't a like a actual baseball match. So that's why. Those are weaknesses in the art because there are a few dirt faces here and there. And that's why taking all these facts into consideration, I'm going to rate this episode a 7 out of 10. Which in my skill, 7 out of 10 is an above average episode because 5 is average in my skill. But the animation quality that we got this episode prevents it from being an 8 or a 9 out of 10 status. Because I, I see quite a bit of sports series that animate their sports events much, much better than this. So... That's why I kind of expected a bit more, but I enjoyed the episode nonetheless for character reasons. So anyways, guys and gals, these are my thoughts on Hachigatsu New Cinderella 9 Episode 5. Comment out your thoughts on the episode in the comments section below. Rate the video, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you